um omri had an absolute shock oh this is hard take an appalling this appalling is- game and perez is clearly gone well in retrospect what suits my argument here i could have linked up with omri i could have made him better Having said that, Omri did have... Uh, the reason that Omri had such a terrible game, not to finish my hot take, it's very spicy, just stand back. Uh, the reason that Omri had such a bad game is that he did have a lot of chances to get the sh- get shots on target and to get goals. I think he probably did have enough link-up play. So Perez is wrong, Omri was terrible in that game. And Omri is my favourite non-Man United player in, ever in the Premier League. I don't think he was that bad. I don't think Henri was terrible, though. He was he, there's, there's two big chances which he should have scored. Well, he should have scored one of them. But, I mean, he was still causing Barcelona absolute. Like, True. so much he was on his own for so long. Like, up front in his own. No one near him for ages. And he was still terrorizing them at moments. At moments. But the, the one time that he terrorized them the most was in the second half. Arsenal 1-0 up. He nutmegs per, uh, Puyol and then he goes past someone else. And then just a very, very tame shot. And the thing is, is that he was so tired at the, for the second half of that game that he was completely ineffectual. And when he did get the chance, and admit, I, I'll give you that, he got lots of, lots, lots of time on the ball and he did get himself into the positions. But also, as we sort of said, Barcelona were throwing players forward, weren't really in, very organised in defence or very structured in defence. But there was kind of this idea at the time that Henri was kind of a little bit of, which I don't think is true, but it was kind of like one of the kind of narrative things where he was kind of a flat track bully and that he didn't do it in the, in the big games. But I mean, he did. Well, okay, so let's go through the, the two big ones that he lost. So we talked about it in the second minute. Yeah. I yeah. mean, a, a good touch. Yeah. But he makes that chance himself, though. Yeah, it's not like he squanders something like that's on a plate. The, for sec- him. the second one is it's not like It's not on him. a plate. Yeah. You can you can do an you can make your chance to get an open goal and then miss the yes. open goal and then that's still but a bad I, miss. And, I would and, say for the second one, I think you sometimes see those ones go in because sometimes players go for those like yeah. shots right by. The yeah, because it's hardest to get because if the keeper doesn't get down in time, then it just yeah. slots between their like elbow and their yeah. hip, right? So, yeah. but it was but a little bit so tame f- for that. It was so tame, and I, th- I think you could hear it in the commentary that the, the the cadence of the commentary was going into the sort of he, he uh, Clive Tilsey went into oh I'm going to do my bit of commentary where Henri's about to score yeah. when he's in that position yeah. it's like oh and here's Henri oh, he's just <laughs> side footed the ball very yeah, gently into Victor Valdez. Valdez yeah it's not as if Valdez has had to do a brilliant save or anything Done no nothing. that's true 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 um, 